Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the IWC Portugieser Annual Calendar. This is reference 5035-02. You can see and you can own this watch on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos. And please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this IWC Portugieser Annual Calendar. Now the watch on my wrist is big. It's the same size as the Perpetual, 44.2 millimeters across the round of the case, not inclusive of the crown. It's thick, but its form with a stepped and concave profile at the lip of the case and bezel junction means that you will be able to get away with this one wearing a sweater, a blazer, or a sport jacket, but not the tightest of dress cuffs. From lug to lug, it's a substantial but wearable 52.5 millimeters, and you'll note that due to the dramatic down thrust of the lugs, which pivot almost 90 degrees from the case band. You can wear this watch on a smaller wrist, though my wrist is 16 centimeters in circumference. I'll say that you could wear this watch on a 15 centimeter circumference wrist and not look or feel like the timepiece is out of place. The strap is of high quality, and you'll note it has a curved spring bar on both sides to bring the strap junction a little closer to the flank of the case for a more integrated look. The strap is of very high quality. This is rectangular scale black alligator leather, lightly bolstered with folded edges and a monotone stitch with a massive IWC media blasted and polished folding clasp in stainless steel to match the case. You'll also note the stainless steel is beautifully wrought, finished in a horizontal brushed grain on the case band and the flanks of the lugs. You can also see high polish on the lug hoods as well as the junction of the case back and mid case junction of bezel and mid case. The bezel is actually concave, much like several modern Patek Philippe references. By bending it inward, you pare down the visual mass, you taper the bezel to help taper the case, and then you transition to a slightly domed sapphire. You see that domed effect? That camber is not cheap to make. The sapphire on this one gives you a certain level of expectation as to the attention to fit, finish, detail, and specification, and the watch delivers on those expectations. It's a classical Portugieser. Since 1939, you have the integrated Art Deco style lugs. You have the vintage railroad track minutes outboard, applied Arabic numerals here, all in high polish with matching leaf hands at center. So all is well from a historical standpoint, and the watch has a beautiful and beautifully modern blue sunburst dial. This is highly popular today, and there's a reason for that. It seems to have a universal warmth, appeal, and a charm. What sets this watch apart from both the automatic and the perpetual calendar is that it splits the dial perfectly with no superfluous moon phase, no radial dials, nothing busy to crowd the composition. It's all achieved in a narrow span of two hours on the dial at 12 o'clock. You have your constant seconds, month, date, week, power reserve. It's that simple. And because of the aperture design, it's far easier to read than the perpetual calendar. I would go so far as to say if you have absolutely any reservations about being able to read the Portuguese or perpetual calendar or any perpetual with radial displays of days and months and dates, this is what you want. Not only that, but you'll note the complete absence of case flank push adjusters or dimples because everything is set through the crown. It's that convenient because it's an annual calendar. It requires correction only once per year during the jump from February to March. You can see the countersunk power reserve for seven days or 168 hours at three o'clock. And as you wind this watch, you energize its immense reserve de marche. Now you can see on the back, the latest generation of the 50,000 series calibers no longer uses a single immense mainspring barrel, but it uses two geared together within skeletonized bridges. It's both more pleasant to look at because you can see more of it, and thanks to the twin barrels, it releases its torque more evenly throughout the life of the mainspring barrel wind. The old single barrel had a tendency to be somewhat 
erratic at the very beginning and the very end of its power reserve run. That's been fixed here. Also changed for this 2015 model year novelty was the Peloton winding system, which you can see both wheel and pawl in black ceramic now completely unlubricated. It no longer causes the sedimentation issues that some had observed on earlier iterations of the Peloton winding system while retaining all of its durability and efficiency. The balance has also come in for some upgrades. The very first 5000 series version of this movement in 2000 beat away at 18,000 vibrations per hour. In mid-decade, it was sped up to 21.6, a more modern beat rate. Here, it joins the ranks of contemporary calibers with an oscillation rate of 28,800 vibrations per hour for greater accuracy in the face of bumps and disruptions on the wrist. Also to that end, a free-sprung balance. So once regulated, bumps, disruptions, and even concussions on the wrist are far less likely to alter the timing of the movement, and though you can't see it, there is a Breguet overcoil doubled up over the hairspring structure to give the watch resistance to gravitational or positionally induced timing deviation. And though the watch has a seven day power reserve and measures spans of entire years, nevertheless, through hacking seconds or stop seconds, you do have the ability to set this magnum opus to the nearest second against an accurate reference, such as an online atomic clock. The movement executed entirely in Schaffhausen beautifully complements the aesthetic of the watch, style and substance both in one 44 millimeter stainless steel case. See it and own it on our website.